Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are fine and are safe at home. So guys, a lot of you have been requesting for a video on fertilizing succulents. So here we are. Now guys, please don't be worried if you haven't been using any kind of fertilizers for your succulents. It's absolutely fine. I personally stopped using any kind of fertilizers and you can see my succulents are doing absolutely fine. But a little bit of fertilizers will not be an issue, but using excess of any kind of fertilizers or nutrients, even if it's organic, can be a problem. Remember guys, in the world of succulents, less is more, be it watering or nutrients. Now guys, I won't be naming any particular brand of fertilizer because that's not very important. What's important is when, how and what form of fertilizers will work best for succulents. Now guys, it's been six years for me growing succulents. Initially two years, I was using some fertilizers, but over the period of time, I realized that the fertilizers were not doing much for my succulents. So rather than wasting my money on fertilizers, I decided to stop fertilizing them. And you can see they have been doing quite well since then. Now guys, before we start talking about fertilizers, there is another important thing. Now, as most of you tend to make the succulent potting mix at home, so it's very important you know what you add and what you don't. Remember, we are the succulent parents and we need to be in control as to when you feed your succulents and when not to. So basically, you feed them during their growing period and will stop feeding them during their resting period, which is the dormant period. Now, as you know, my soil mix only contains aquarium sand and garden soil. There is no compost, no bone meal, no neem cake, no cocoa peat. Reason because I want to have full control over my soil. Because if you add the above mentioned things, you will lose control over your soil, which means both your dormant and non-dormant succulents will be getting nutrients. While the non-dormant succulents might enjoy the feeding, dormant succulents might not be so happy. So what's going to happen is the dormant succulent that are in the resting phase will not consume the nutrients and that is going to go in waste. Now remember guys, if the nutrients are lying in the soil for a long time, what's going to happen next is there are going to be unwanted guests in your soil. Now those unwanted guests are going to be molds, fungus, pests, weeds, etc., which definitely you do not want them in your soil. Now, this will make things much clearer. As you can see on my left hand side, I have my Graptoveria, which are in their dormant stage. And on my right hand side, I have my Echoveria, which are in their growing period. Now, because my succulent soil mix is not pre-mixed with any organic matter, so I have full control over my soil, which means I can conveniently feed my echuarias. Now guys, this is going to be slightly different for people who tend to purchase their succulent soil mix online because this mix is going to come pre-mixed with nutrients and fertilizers. But you do not need to be worried because these nutrients or fertilizers are going to be very minimum. It's going to be as equal to the garden soil that we used. Now the best part is that you do not need to add any more fertilizers to your online succulent mix. You just leave it as it is. Now guys, over here as you can see without any hassle and worry i can feed my echuaria as it's in its growing period i won't feed my graptoveria as they are in their dormant season so you see it's that simple do not make your soil mix so complicated by adding so much stuff that it becomes difficult for you and for your succulent keep the soil simple the succulents will make your life simple so why add fertilizers to succulents? Now guys, adding a little bit of fertilizers will help your succulents grow, but not huge and quick in no time. By growth, I mean a general healthy growth and it will keep them in good form. And if you are into collecting seeds, fertilizers will help promote bloom growth on certain succulents. But fertilizing your succulents too often will also promote weak and artificial growth, which you definitely do not want. You want your succulents to be strong. So if you ask me, do I have to add fertilizers to succulents? My answer would be no. Succulents can still do well without adding fertilizers to the soil. So the next question is what kind of fertilizer is good? Now guys, in case if you still want to go ahead and use fertilizers, I would advise go for a liquid based fertilizer. The reason because liquid fertilizers distribute the nutrients equally and is evenly absorbed into the soil compared to the slow release fertilizers like compost and vermicompost. All you have to do is mix the liquid fertilizer in water and dilute it before using. 
So that brings us to what is a good fertilizer. Now, a good fertilizer is the one that contains NPK. Now, NPK means nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. So the N stands for nitrogen in NPK. Nitrogen is known to promote new leaf growth, promote shoots and make the stem stronger. But guys, don't be too excited because if the level or the ratio of nitrogen is too much in the soil, it will burn your succulent roots. So please be careful whenever you're buying any fertilizers. Ensure that the nitrogen ratio is less compared to phosphorus and potassium. Now guys, I would advise you to use NPK at your own risk and and as a caution of word, please ensure that you do not use too much of NPK if the ratio of nitrogen is too much because this will harm the succulent roots. Now the next one is P. P stands for phosphorus in NPK and this is known to promote root growth. The last one is potassium. Now potassium is known to help in flowering and bearing fruits. Now definitely our succulents do not bear fruits but for people who are into creating hybrids and are planning to grow blooms then potassium will come in handy because this will help in giving you a lot of bloom stalks. Now the next question is how to fertilize your succulents. Now this is very important. You will need to make sure that your succulent is getting at least 5 to 6 hours of full morning direct sunlight or long hours of indirect sunlight because if you do not receive enough sunlight, adding fertilizers will accelerate the process of stretching and the succulent will lose its compactness. The second thing you need to remember is whenever you are fertilizing your succulents, ensure that you use one fourth or less than one fourth of your fertilizers and mix it in a liter of water. Always cut down the dosage whatever has been recommended on the bottle. This will lower the risk of your succulent getting burnt. So the first form of liquid fertilizer is called as seaweed. I'm sure a lot of you guys know and this is very safe to use for succulents. Now guys, I personally do not use fertilizers as I've said this earlier. So I didn't want to waste money and buy fertilizers just for this video. So I'm replicating it with watercolors. Now when you remove the seaweed solution and put it in the cap, this is how it's going to look. It's going to be very dark in color. And as I said, try to cut down the dosage what is mentioned on the bottle. You can use one fourth or less than one fourth and then dilute it in a liter of water now guys whenever you're using seaweed even if it's organic as i said do not over fertilize your succulents or do not use excess if you're using seaweed solution just use it once a month during the growing period this is very important guys ensure that your succulent is in the growing period and then you can use this fertilizer after diluting it in water so guys, the second form of uh, fertilizer is in its solid form and that is wormy compost. Now guys, you have to be very careful. Wormy compost is highly nutrient, so you need to be very careful with the dosage. Now over here, I'll be using a teaspoon of wormy compost. Now if you have a small pot, you can use half a teaspoon and not tablespoon. Guys, remember it has to be half teaspoon of wormy compost. If you have a medium sized pot, you can use two teaspoons of wormy compost and if you have a fairly larger pot then you can use at least three teaspoons of wormy compost now guys when you're using wormy compost you do not need to add any more fertilizers at least for a year so you can leave it as it is again guys do not add any other fertilizers do not make a combo of fertilizers and add it to the soil this will increase the nutrient level in the soil and could risk your succulent in infestation with fungus and mold so you need to be very careful now guys this is very important if you recently had a mealybug attack or a pest attack or if you have a past history wherein your succulents are frequently getting infested with molds fungus or pests please do not use wormy compost for that matter do not use any fertilizers because there is some problem going on maybe there is already a lot of nutrients present in your soil due to which you are having these frequent attacks so after adding the wormy compost, you can now go ahead and add a little bit more soil onto it so that the wormy compost is locked between the soil and then you can just water it. So every time when you're going to water, the wormy compost is going to settle deep into the soil. So the next question is when to fertilize succulents. Now timing is very important. You cannot randomly fertilize your succulents as per your wish. To get the most out of the nutrients, it has to be done at the right time. 
that is when the succulent is about to enter its growing period or if it's already in its growing period. Now you must be aware which succulent is dormant and which is not. So for that I will be putting up a dormant and non-dormant table in my description. You can definitely check for it. Now guys adding of the fertilizers is only for succulents that are potted in pots. If you have your succulents that are growing in ground you do not need to add any fertilizers. Now guys remember do not add full suggested amount always use half the suggested amount on the bottle because too much dose of fertilizers or nutrients might burn your succulents or it might even burn the succulent roots. Now guys you can also use aquarium water or pond water for your succulents to water them but remember guys the water has to be only from freshwater aquarium and not from seawater aquarium. Now guys remember less is more whenever you're using aquarium water ensure that it does not have a strong odor or smell because if there is a strong odor or smell coming from the aquarium water that indicates that it has high level of ammonia and high level of ammonia is not good for succulents in fact it's not good for any plants but again there will be a mild odor which is okay because there are fishes in the water so we tend to feed them and the food tends to get settled and the waste tends to get settled at the bottom so there is going to be slight smell that is absolutely fine you can add one cup of aquarium water or pod water to a liter of fresh water now i'm not an expert in all this i have learned from the internet and i have implemented it so please correct me if i'm wrong so when there is a strong smell or odor it indicates high level of ammonia and you must avoid this water for plants high level of ammonia can be toxic for plants so the high level of ammonia is not only bad for plants but it's also bad for the fishes that are living in that water so ensure that you keep the water clean use filtration and ensure that you keep doing a water change so that the level of ammonia is under control. So all my succulents that are downstairs receive the water from the pond water because it's close by and I don't need to go and get water from upstairs. So this is the closest that I can get. So what I do is I just take few cups of a pond water and mix it with a liter of water. Now guys remember my pond water is not very very nutrient. So please don't think that just because I'm using the pond water my succulents look so good and healthy. It's not because of that because my pond water gets replenished every week and I have very little fish hardly five to six beta fish and I'm sure they do not produce a lot of waste so the nutrients in the water is very very less but I haven't seen any difference because I'm going to show you the succulents in the balcony now these are my succulents that are in the balcony I have already made a video on the vertical garden and this vertical garden is present in the balcony now you can see the succulent has such beautiful blooms and you can also notice that the succulent has beautiful colors now this is because the balcony receives full morning direct sunlight and post it receives indirect sunlight so you can see they are in their good form now guys you won't believe I do not use a pond water or I do not use any nutrient water for these succulents because as you know the pond is kept downstairs and I do not carry that water all the way to the balcony the nearest source of water is my tap water and I tend to use tap water for the succulents but still you can see there is not much difference my succulents downstairs and my succulents in the balcony are doing well with or without the pond water or any nutrients for that matter. So guys here is a perfect example as to very minimum uh, nutrients that are available in the soil is what is helping the succulents grow. They do not need any extra fertilizers or extra nutrients. They will do well without it as well. So guys now that we have spoken about adding fertilizers to the soil there are certain things you need to refrain while fertilizing your succulents that is do not feed your succulents during the dormant period never use fertilizers in concentrated form even if it's less than one fourth always mix it in water and dilute it do not add fertilizers if you do not receive enough light do not use concentrated fertilizers on dry soil you have to mix it with water and then use do not use fertilizers if you have an active mold fungus or pest infestation do not use fertilizers on recently potted or repotted succulents you have to wait for a month so that the succulent roots and the succulent gets adjusted to the new soil 
So guys, in the world of succulents, there are only two seasons, that is summer and winter. According to these two seasons, they tend to go dormant and non-dormant. So what about the monsoon season? I would say that the monsoon season is a null period. In this period, I would say do not add any fertilizers. Reason? Because guys, this in monsoon season, the environment is very moist, damp and cool. There is water everywhere. There is moisture everywhere. Also, this is a very favorable condition for molds, fungus and pests to grow. So during this time, I would say do not add any fertilizers to the soil because adding fertilizers to the soil is like feeding some nutrients or organic matter to these molds, fungus or pests and they will reproduce much faster. So you definitely want to avoid this. Now another thing guys, when the monsoon season starts, I would advise you do not collect water in the initial stage. Let the monsoon season proceed, let it rain more frequently and then you can collect the rainwater and whenever your soil tends to dry, you can use the rainwater for your succulents because succulents tend to love rainwater. Now the reason why do not use the initial rainwater is because the initial rainwater contains a lot of pollutants and you do not want to use that water for your succulents. So guys, I hope that this video on fertilizers was helpful to you. Now you would be in a better condition to decide whether you want to fertilize your succulents or you do not want to fertilize. Now guys, remember you can use any kind of fertilizers, but always remember less is more. You can even use compost tea, but remember always tend to use very, very less quantity of any fertilizers for your succulents. So guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new over here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.